Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another video of GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair. Uh, today I'm working on a 2009 Nissan Altima. It's a four cylinder automatic, front wheel drive, air conditioning. And what we're gonna be working or showing you guys to do is how to replace <coughs> engine mounts and dog bone mount or strut mount, depending who you're talking to. Uh, that will call this a different names. So customer provided. Uh, its own uh, mount so we're going to go ahead and get it done for you guys and really quick so the only thing I ask is in return please to smash that like button subscribe to the channel comment and share the video so hopefully this series of videos that we created for you guys is help you to save money and fixing your own vehicles and doing it right the very first time All right without further ado let's get to it first of all what we're going to do we're going to uh, remove this cover so we can have some access here to this uh, uh, this bolts underneath so this is going to be five millimeter uh, allen socket or allen wrench either way you can use either or Expose this uh, bracket. Next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna remove our uh, engine coolant reservoir and our uh, power steering reservoir. So for power steering, we're gonna use the screwdriver right here in the back. It's a tab, so you can now just wiggle and pull. So now you can move this so you can access to this uh, bolt right here for the dog bone. So we're just getting stuff out of the way. <coughs> this is a 10 millimeter bolt. I move from the overflow tank. So we can just move this to the out of the way. To prevent displacing it, install it. Okay, now we have more room to maneuver here. Excellent. So, here, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna lose this nut right here. It's a 17 millimeter. But one thing can happen here, it might the engine, it might is gonna drop. So, let's see what happens. I don't kind of recall. See if I have enough clearance. Never mind. It's 18 millimeter. Yep, there it is. on top of leave this at 15 oh. 16 millimeter Stove there. That way we don't damage the thread. Okay, great. So next, we are going to remove one, two bolts from this bar 
two bolts here, two bolts on the other strut tower. Here's where the strut goes. Do not touch that one. The one in the middle, do not touch it. It's one, two. It's a 13 millimeter. different sizes the longer one goes to the front like this <laughs> on the other side there's two different sizes one is a 12 millimeter and this is 13 so that's why I'm switching sockets millimeter swivel okay. so the purpose of removing this bolt that should give me enough clearance to remove this other way it is not this is on top and I don't have enough angle to remove it, there is. Right. Now that I move this, I can use an 18 millimeter, either a speed wrench, to remove that bolt. together so one single piece yep. so be careful here let's remove the bolt now so both the one that goes on the front have a washer the other one doesn't have it for some reason but both are the same length so does not really matter which one goes where but if you really care this one in this case goes in the front towards the front of the engine so you have it okay so this is how you remove this one see how damaged it is Let's 
the new one you can see how sturdy it is so this bar goes down this goes to the bottom excellent all right then so now i gotta bring the, uh, the floor jack put it underneath the, the oil pan when you do that i will show you how to do it so that way you can just go ahead uh, lift the engine uh, gentle other way you can damage the oil pan and create potentially more issues all right so uh, let me go get that all right guys so now i already installed the floor jack you see right there that corner okay that's where you want to install on one of the corners on the rear of the oil pan that's where you want to add the floor jack so that way that's a very strong point so you're just going to lift it enough to you can see for instance let me show you that the engine you know it moves a little there you have it you saw that okay so i don't want to overdo it I don't want to put more pressure that is needed because that's not good either so now okay great so now we know that two large ones goes here on the front now i can remove this part you can put those two large ones if you want to right through the bracket in case you you might forget so here it's gonna be 16, 16 millimeter and 16 millimeter. That's gonna be uh, uh, two bolts, not three bolts. I'm sorry, three bolts. I use uh, extension. See if we we can just break it loose. Okay, good. We got one. Here we go again. Oh! Apologize for that. There it is. Two. one goes right here okay so here is where we need to uh, be patient and creative okay that will be patient so high come on right so now sorry you can see how this engine mount totally destroyed okay so we're gonna put this to the side and we're gonna install this here okay this is the new one so we're gonna put it the same way this side goes first. Let me adjust the camera. This is going to go first. There. I'm going to twist it just like that, and it's going to set in place right now. Right. Now we're going to do two bolts. B ones goes. Two long ones, same length. It's gonna go one, two. Now, when you're working with the AC lines, make sure if you have to move them out of the way, be gentle. Many times it can just uh, crack or touch something that's not supposed to and get damaged and create an easy work or job become a lot harder than it's supposed to be. 
So now this one's they're they're ready in place. I'll start with. this what we're going to do we're going to install our strut mount like this right here gonna go there next thing that we gotta do we're gonna have to lift the engine to be able to line up the hole for the bolt with the mount just take your time don't go too crazy cranking up the engine Set the camera down. battery die so I needed to just swipe uh, switch batteries anyhow <clears throat> so this is how I install this bolt this is kind of difficult right now to, to install it so what I did I raised the engine a little bit more with the floor jack now <clears throat> the next thing that I did I I hit this base right here a little bit Okay, you probably can see right there a couple marks when I push it down a little so that way the mount I can get a little bit better angle like this okay so this is like this where's the other one So this, instead of just being like this, I need it to be going angle oh, just a little so I can line up the bolt with the hole. So, so that, by hitting here just a tiny bit, it gave me that angle that I needed. Okay, next. I'm sorry for the camera's going all over the place right now. I apologize. So with this, put it right here and I was able to pull the engine towards me okay and with that yes was enough to line up that hole now make sure when you install the bolt it goes nice and smooth the thread if it's going too tight I mean it's not aligned correctly and because this is aluminum you will damage the thread so take you time next we are going to line up this hole so you're going to come here be careful with you uh, be careful with uh, the AC line okay see so it's almost there so now what I need to do I actually I need to uh, push this engine back so you can use the same method here with the screwdriver and 
there is see how it's light up now it went too far <laughs> sometimes sometimes you are just too good sometimes so it's kind of there so now i gotta pull it back gentle this is just enough you know what let me do it here Probably like to get a better angle. The rest. Okay. Remember, got to lift this up. And the next part is going to be line up this with the hole. Start here. This is already lined up. Sorry about that, because I, I need two hands. Try to. So, it's uh, line up. What I did, breaker bar, I just went like this, and I keep pushing towards the front of the engine to this hole actually line up, and that just drop so as you can see it's uh, nice and smooth and easy goes there okay. let's do it so this is already start now before I tie this and I tie this I'm gonna install the bracket here on top of the engine for the last engine mount. So I'm gonna install this right here. And I have to tie this uh, stud. Okay, get lower. right here where it's not thread nice unless you stole this awesome I need a little bit more Two long bolts here. Make sure this one's they are line up. And this one is not it's not 
going. And we're supposed to. Take your time here. All right. So this is tight. I mean, let's get in there. came to say hi and brought some delicious food for us so that's awesome so after this video I'm gonna be eating nice and homemade food for my mama so now really quick I'm gonna finish this I'm going to put all the uh, the torques and specs in the description down below so you guys can uh, get uh, everything torque Funny how so this is how you replace those two engine mounts. Um, so again, if you get anything from this video, please like the video, give it a thumb up, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. It doesn't cost you anything, but definitely help me a lot to the YouTube algorithm and keep me motivated. To, the time that I'm taking out of the repair is actually well spent to try to help somebody else who might watch the video. So again, thanks again. God bless. Do your best. Forget the rest. And I will see you in the next video. Later.